Hey guys, what's happening? It's the Pretend Farmer here. It's kind of a cloudy, it's pretty muggy out here actually today. Got some things happening today. Can't tell you about them yet. It's a secret, it's a surprise. It's actually a surprise for everybody. I'm thinking, I'm the only one that knows about it. Spending money without telling my wife. That's what I like to do. Oh, a few quick updates. Nothing really serious. This thing right here, I didn't feel myself taking them out of there, but I put the quail back inside the barn just because it was raining a lot and the water likes to flow down through here and I didn't want any of my quail getting flooded out and stuff. So they're back inside the barn. I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, I'm wearing shorts today. I don't know how many farmers wear shorts, but I guess that's why I'm the pretend farmer. Got a surprise and it involves taking down part of this fence. So yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Start chopping and clipping and stuff like that. And we're gonna fold this back and uh, we're gonna be creating a temporary pen for something. Cause I'm uh, kind of a small guy. I'm tall, but uh, in no way am I very big. I'm not large in any way, but I'm gonna do something that I don't really like to do because the animals, they push me around really easily, you know? So I'm gonna do a little bit of a shaky shaky. Oh God. Ah. But I'm gonna do a little bit of a these guys are already all over me. Ugh. I can't get anything done when you got goats. They just jump up on top of me like I like I'm a tree. I mean, I do look like a tree, but I'm not a tree, guys. Leave me alone. Like I said, this is why I don't like doing this. God. I'm just going to keep spinning in circles, trying to dodge them like a football player. All right. I'm gonna get a bit of a head start here because my animals are gonna start coming and I don't want to get trampled. So we're just gonna shake this a little bit and they're gonna start coming. Here they come. More sheep. Oh, tripping over my goats. More sheep. And uh, more sheep. All I'm doing is bringing the animals to this new pasture right here, close to house pasture. We're bringing them here so that they can, okay, geez. golly go. Bringing them here so that they can have some nice clover and some grass and stuff. It's just a good treat for them, really. The cows are coming, kind of coming slow. They'll make it, they gotta walk around that gate right there and then make it up to me. My sheep, they're all coming. They're working their way over here. I forgot to mention is since cutting the horns of the goats, I haven't had a single one stuck in the fence. So that's been pretty great. Don't have to worry about them being out in the backfield and wondering where they're at because their heads are stuck in a fence or going on vacation and coming back to a goat with its head stuck in the fence. This girl right here is just won't leave me alone. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and open up this gate here. Beep beep, beep beep. Watch out. Ugh. There we go. We're getting a good group of animals here. They're gonna run up in there. They're gonna like that. They're gonna be happy. So that's good. We wanted to do this for a few days, but it's just been raining a lot. I don't really like getting wet too much. They're working their way over here. Big old cotton balls. We're probably only a few weeks away from getting rid of the lambs. I think I gotta go over here and show these cows where to go. They're a bit confused. Hey cow. Hey, they come. Hey cow. No, don't, don't beat me up, guys. Yeah, there you go. Go check it out. That's gonna keep them happy for like a week so they eat it all down. Uh, come on, Gracie girl, come get your babies. They went this way. Uh. Come on, Gracie. This is Gracie. Raised her from a bottle. She's been around here for a few years. You know, maybe, maybe three or four. This is actually one of my wife and I's first bottle babies. We like her a lot. Those animals got the good life. Alfalfa, clover, whole lot of love. Even the ducks are hanging out. 
My animals go nuts every time they see the blue or green scoop. They know exactly what this is. They, they know it's full of food, nothing else. And so even if it's empty and I've showed them it's empty, they still go crazy for me. But it's a plus because I can, it's a good way to control them, you know? I can, if I need them to go do something, I bring out the scoop, you know, and they're, they're behind me. A really good reason why it's important that they follow this scoop is if on the rare occasion they do get out, if I just show them the scoop, they're gonna come to where I am, they're gonna come back in the game, it's gonna be no problem. Um, that does happen every once in a while, hopefully someday I'll get it on video, because it's kind of entertaining, a clown act, you know? But yeah, the scoop is good. I just wipe my face in cow poo. Oh well, good thing we like that. Okay, now to get back at the task at hand. Peeling back this netting so it can plop something in here. Can't tell you what it is, but I'll show you later. Stay tuned, you'll see. <sighs> I need my wife here. She's usually the one that helps with these things. Okay, so I've already explained that in my other videos that eventually there's gonna be a chicken coop here and all this netting's gonna go away and it's gonna look nice and pretty. Uh, as pretty as it can be for a uh, temporary chicken house but um so but today i'm just gonna peel back the netting i'm gonna flop it backwards um just because i don't feel like taking it all down today that's attached for a different day um man how many times am i gonna say day in one sentence five times that's how many times i'm gonna say day and just in case i didn't say it five times i'm gonna say it a couple more times day day there we go now when i go back i'll count those uh, I've learned to start wiping my face on my right arm because I got poop on this arm. I don't want to get it on my face anymore. Um, let's get back to it. My brother taught me how to dance like that. Okay, that's all done. Nadine is all folded back. Can go over top of this no problem whatever we're putting in here could be human well uh hopefully have a good time oh i forgot to mention so this is part of that little duck run i've got this little door here whatever i'm putting in here we're gonna have this open like this so that it does have a place to get in and out of the elements uh, from the sun or just from rain in general so i'll be able to go in and out here hmm Every time I walk in this netting, it always takes off my hat and always reveals my receding hairline. Not that I'm self-conscious about it, but I just don't like it. Gosh, man, this shirt is so dirty, I can't wipe my sweat off. Hey, okay, now to go into here and make sure the chicken door's closed. Oh my gosh. See, there it goes again, taking my hat off. See, so I got a chicken door on this side, under this little part here. Well, would you look at that? I've been wondering where my little leghorn was laying her eggs. Found them. Man, when you let your chickens free range, they just, sometimes they just lay their eggs anywhere. It's a good game of uh, hide and go seek. <laughs> well, now I know. Now, I don't know if you can see this right here. This guy right here, I've got a few scars on top of my head from that. Why I haven't fixed it, I don't know. But I got a duck under it every single time. So frustrating. And now I'll try to take my hat off again. <laughs> Since the quail are back inside the barn here, I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and pick them some alfalfa. At least I think this is alfalfa. Man, I'm gonna really feel really stupid if it's not alfalfa. So I picked some alfalfa for the quail, throw it in here. I'll have them eat at that. Maybe I should have done some research to make sure it doesn't hurt them. But I think, I think it's okay. I'm not showing like the kittens and I'm not showing all the lambs and stuff like that because they're not gonna be around for much longer. The lambs are gonna go into market and the kittens are gonna finally get a new home. So uh, there's no point in showing them because they're like I said, they're not gonna be around for any more of the videos, so. Okay, let's go through a list of 
all the animals I've got. We've got Mama. She's the oldest sheep. She's brown the longest. Then we've got Polly. She's a hair breed sheep. Then we've got Gracie. She's one of our first bottle lambs we've ever had. And by we, I mean my wife and I. Then we've got Pancake and Cutie and Sushi. She's the best friends of Sonic and Socks, the two cows who are eventually gonna become beef. Then we have Pen, the ram who we've met. Okay, then I've got the three girls. I've got Betsy, Edith, and Judy. Quick story about them is I have three grandmas. I have my, my father has a mom and my mom had two moms. All three of them are deceased, they're gone. Um, and so I decided when I got these goats that I thought it'd be funny. I guess it's really not that funny, it's funny to me. Um, I would name the goats after my three dead grandmas. I mean, isn't that a good idea? So I've got Betsy, Edith, and Judy. Now, every time my parents come out to say hi to the goats, they can always remember their dead parents. Okay, moving on. Then I've got the two ducks. Peanut the pig, who lived inside for the first six months. It was a gift to my wife. She didn't ask for it, but she learned to love him. Got the four geese. We've got happy birthday, Ryan Gosling, and then the two girls who we haven't named yet. Then we've got the quail, the guinea fowl, two of those. And then we've got Toy, the old farm dog. She's the oldest animal on the farm. She's pretty sweet. She's been around, well, she's been around since we've moved to the farm. So she's about, I'm just gonna say 14 years old. Now to the cats. I've got five cats. I've got Perry. I've got Blue, Yellow, Panda, and Beans. And all these chickens, a variety of them, a whole bunch of them. All right, so let's run back through that. I've got Mama, Polly, Gracie, Pancake, Cutie, Sushi, Sonic, Socks, Pen, Betsy, Edith, Judy, Two Ducks, Peanut, Happy Birthday, Ryan Gosling, Two Unknowns, Quail, Guinea Fowl, Toy, Perry, Blue, Yellow, Panda, Beans, and all these chickens. I have no idea how many chickens I have. I, uh, I hardly ever count them. Uh, when they're free range, they the numbers go up and down all the time. So sometimes a fox gets them, sometimes a raccoon. I have babies hatch, <clears throat> and so I don't keep track, but I really should count them. I'm gonna guess around like the 30 mark. I got maybe about 30 chickens. Okay, so it's the next morning. I didn't show you what I got last night because it was dark by the time I got home. So I put my kids to bed and I figured, you know, I'll just show you guys tomorrow. So here I am. It's tomorrow for me, but only a couple seconds for you. I'm eating a banana. Hold on, let me finish my banana before we keep doing this thing. And now we've got Barney. Everyone meet Barney. He's my new male Nubian goat. Isn't he handsome? Look at Tom, how handsome you are. So handsome. Yeah. Are you gonna be famous, Barney? The whole world's gonna love you? Yeah. We're all gonna love Barney. Why'd you name him Barney? I named him Barney because when I was thinking of names, I was watching TV with my daughter and Barney came on and I was like, Barney, that's it. I've got him hanging out with Edith and Judy. I don't know where Betsy went. I think she escaped. Go too good at that. But I've got him hanging out with these girls to get used to each other. <laughs> Are you hungry? Should I let you out today? I'll let you out if you want. Whoa. He's getting along with the girls pretty good. It's just 
Got all three girls here and Barney. He knows exactly who he's supposed to be hanging out with. That's great. They didn't beat him up too much, but they did show him who's boss a few times. What'd you say, Barney? Like and subscribe? Turn notifications on? That's a great idea. Okay, as always, I hope you leave this video better than you came. Bye.